client she has alopecia and so we use a special braid pattern so that we can camouflage it as much as possible while providing her with a lot of fullness at the same time there seems to be so much love for my real hair um, on here at the moment and I love it thank you all so much for all your lovely comments but unfortunately the reason why I'm wearing wigs a lot more now and I'm wearing them every time I go out is because I am as you can see, I haven't covered it today. That one's only tiny. I'm losing a lot more. The alopecia is back. I'll show you the back, you'll see what I mean. Um, 
losing so much more and it's just getting really hard to cover so when it's hot if i paint the stuff on that i use sometimes it kind of melts and it doesn't dry properly and it gets everywhere and i just get paranoid that people can see the patches and the wigs just stop that so i am wearing wigs when i go out again which is so frustrating because i absolutely love this short hair i never had short hair before um and if it ever comes back or if it doesn't go fully and it starts to grow back then i will have this hairstyle again I've tried to pin it up today because I'm working and it's boiling. Uh, trying to keep it out of my way, but it's not cooperating. Um, anyway, if it all goes again, uh, or starts to go even more, I am going to shave my head again and I will make a video of it for you. But while I still have it, I am going to carry on making videos and transition videos using my natural hair because from the front it's easier to hide, so I can still do that. I do want to say a huge, huge thank you for all of your support throughout my whole journey you've all been amazing and helped me so much with my confidence wise um in just in all areas but you know what if it goes again i've done it once before i can do it again i've got loads of wigs um i know what to expect so i'm in um a more fortunate position than many that have alopecia for the first time um but yeah thank you all so much and i do really appreciate all your lovely comments uh hopefully it won't all go but if it does i have the wigs before the year ends this is one thing that i've learned to not hide behind what weakened you your self-esteem but instead embrace it i have traction alopecia as you can see there you can see where my hairline starts and where it should start but i've always hide behind my hair i've always worn massive wigs like real big hair or short pixie cuts where like my hair falls over forward to hide that area and I'm tired of it because it constantly put me in a rut with my hair so I decided to shave it off and I'm building my self-esteem and I'm working on loving me for who I am because I don't want hair to define who I am hair it's not part of my identity it is something that I have it is a tool it is accessory to amplify my beauty that's already there and I want you to know that if you are struggling with something and you're hiding behind something it's time to embrace it